And welcome guys to another tutorial on our uh, little Unity projects that we've got going on. Now, I wanted to do something a little different than just an FPS kit because, you know, first person shooters are cool and all, but sometimes you just want like a little mobile version or something else to play. So we're going to have to deal with that. Now, as you can see, this model is going all goo guide, and it's it's to be expected because the person that made this made it three objects. This is one part, and it's got a temperature thing, and then the body. So there's really nothing I could do about that one. And um, well, you know, we're we're gonna be dealing with uh, a two part system later on where if um it's all one piece it'll work fine for a model but let's say this piece right here where the gun comes out and this is different so we could have this part point up and down and this part go side to side and we could do that easily in code but the thing is we want to turn that lurps around you know it it, it it's got smooth movement because we don't want to do animation because, you know, then that means we have to animate it and stuff. And we don't need to because we need code. We can do it in code and it's just as performant. Eh, slightly, maybe a little different. I don't know. I have to research it. But anyway, in this part, we're going to discuss about how to make it turn and rotate like so. And how to distinguish between this cube to a different one. And, you know, it might interest you and it might not. I don't know. It's all in what you actually like. And this code can actually personally be used in 2D. With a slight change if you wanted to. Now, let's, let's discuss this a little. Because... You know, obviously, you're here to burn. So, okay, let's let's dig into this. Now, I've imported some models and things like that, and I've got asset bundle manager and asset sample and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use these yet, but in this, we've got our level. Make sure you always save your level and your prefab stuff. Thank you, phone, for being charged and all that, because your prefabs are going to scale. In the way that you want. So you don't get no odd things. We've got a level master. Okay. Because you know. It's it's a master script for the whole level. I mean. UI and things like that. I can see that coming. So. I'm going to put this turret script in here. And we're going to look at this script. Right here. In the tutorial. Now this current is very easy to understand the head is the thing that we're going to be moving around whatever you want this to move around like left right up down that's the transform that you're going to need which most of the time is probably going to be a child so and then you have your parent which has your script see how i put this trance and then this is the target okay now, we're going to do, be doing some uh, gymnastics with this a little bit to get it to work the way we want. Now, we have a speed variable, and this two kill is a string, okay? Because we're going to use the tagging system to identify what's the ground, what's a weapon, what's a ground enemy to an air enemy. Because, you know, you want to mix it up maybe. Maybe have missiles where they can only, you know, kill stuff that's... In the air or you know maybe you want a uh, bullets from like a ground turret that just shoot over everything and just do an aerial damage thing I don't know <laughs> I really don't know what your particular um, application is going to be so let's dig into this now this is a simple script. Okay. Really? 
You're gonna close out my thing? Seriously? Turn. Opie opie. Ah, here we go. I don't know why I did that for. Maybe it's because I moved it. But um, it just uses two little simple things up here in namespaces and uh, two transforms. One's a target and one's your moving transform, the thing you want to move. Now, we have a float speed because we're lurping, you know. Oh, actually slurping. I call it lurping because it's pretty much the same thing except for rotation. And then a sh you don't have to have this here. You can hard code it into this. But I wanted to make it where I could put in a string in the inspector. Like right here. This is what it, I want it to kill. Just the string of you know the tag. Now as far as I could tell. If you wanted to. You can't do this. A public tag. Okay. It, it won't give you anything. Because it's a bowl stuff and T and it just you know reds out and it'll give you an error hey you did something wrong could not be found blah 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 so you can't do that which is unfortunate because I really would like something like that maybe it's called something else that would be really cool if you guys know of a way where i can do the tagging right here without just putting a string name please leave it in the comments i would love to know and you see this void and then it goes s update the reason why i do this is because okay take this code right here this code doesn't have a target yet so why would I need it to update all the time? Okay. So this code doesn't execute. And this is just a vector three relative position equals target position minus transform dot position minus vector three dot up and divided by two. The reason why we do this is because if you know primitives in Unity and things, the origin is right in the center, which, you know, if you're doing any type of look at functionality, it always looks directly at origin, which isn't exactly useful sometimes. And you can control this in your modeling and everything, but it's looking at origin, which is the center point, which is what I have it looking at now. That's why I need this calculation. And then this is just a quaternion and then a look rotation into feeding it this vector three okay and then you got your slurp function really easy a, a transform rotation and then you just do a quaternion slurp from the actual transform rotation this part right here to the thing we're feeding it and then time by you know delta time don't do time dot time it's not frame rate dependent see this one it even tells you the time in seconds it took to complete the last frame and then times it by speed okay and then we've got on trigger stay not on trigger enter on trigger stay very important which is like an update loop that's why we made our custom update right here and we call it and then just assign it really easy stuff and it it works for rotating them around and things I mean it doesn't have to be very complicated and you see it just rotates and it smooths out just like we want now the Z doesn't really matter you know obviously but um yeah this is how you can get your turn to turn around and stuff now in the next video or so i will probably try to get you guys a one that does a two-part system you know like we don't want it to do this so hope this helps you and thank you very much bye bye guys